No one take it's bloody cold. So I was always behind. By the time my next bill came, I sort of paid the other one off and I was still sort of behind. We've got things that have to be on. Um, Trudy's got a dialysis machine that's on 24-7. It's on standby. If she's not using it, it can't be turned off. Uh, some of the problems that we do see Fano facing during winter are, you know, overcrowding, where they all have to sleep in one room to keep warm. Um, financial hardship is definitely a big one. Uh, where we see families having to take lots of time off um, to care for their sick children due to them living in unhealthy homes. When we visit some of these homes, you can tell in an instant, as you're walking through the door, the family greets you, and as you're walking through the door, you can feel that the temperature in the home isn't as warm as the home that you and I would be used to. Poverty is a challenge that all of society must confront. It's not something that one industry can solve. It's driven by things like education, like incomes, and like the quality of our housing. But the electricity sector is committed to doing our bit to supporting those most in need. We do everything we can to help people over the phone. But sometimes you need boots on the ground to provide that in-home support. That's why the electricity sector is partnering with the government and community organisations to deliver Energy Mate, a programme that will support the most vulnerable in our communities. Trained Energy Mate coaches will help families in hardship connect to their power companies to make sure that they're on the best plan for their needs. Energy Mate coaches will work with families to develop a simple action plan, steps like putting draft stoppers around windows or setting the temperature of a heat pump that are great ways to cut their bill or make their home warmer, drier and healthier. By visiting Fano at home, we can make sure they're heating their homes as efficiently as possible. We can also connect them to other services like budgeting support, curtain banks or insulation grants where that's appropriate. It's a lot better now. My power bills are a lot better through Jess um, helping us out with the power company. When we visited Judy and Trudy's house, we were able to connect them with their retailer um, so that they can build that relationship that they needed in order to be able to call them again in the future. Um, we got them onto a better plan. We definitely are in a better position at the moment at, so. since we've met um, mm. had a talk with Jess. We're really excited to be part of a team of energy retailers, line companies and community organisations to come up with a new way to support our most vulnerable and we're very pleased to be part of Energy Mate. We care greatly about our Rotorua families and we know some whanau struggle to keep their home warm in winter or to struggle to pay their power bills. We think Energy Mate will be a fantastic tool to help these people moving forward. It matters to me because I want to see New Zealanders living in warm, dry, healthy homes and Energy Mate also wants to achieve this. It's going to make a difference in the lives of vulnerable New Zealanders. It's great to be part of the Energy Mate program. It uh, comes at a time that's really important for the whole energy sector, but also just in recognition of the challenges of affordability of energy right across the country. We care about supporting vulnerable families because as a learning organisation, being part of helping our community is to be able to walk in their shoes before we can solve their own problems. We're committed to working together to help those in need. Energy Mate is all about ensuring vulnerable New Zealanders can make the most out of their electricity. That can mean reducing their power bills, but it also means warmer, drier, healthier homes.